So you love fishing, you love hunting, you love the outdoors, and you want to share your passions in the form of video with your friends and family, or you want to share it on YouTube. Some simple strategies, tips, and techniques on how to do all of this, coming up. Hell yes! Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Juno Ryan, back at you with another video. Today we're going to be going over simple strategies on how to start filming your outdoor adventures. On this channel I do fishing videos, gear reviews, and simple how-tos, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. So to start off filming, obviously you're going to need something that records video, so probably a video camera. Something simple that we all have on our person at all times is our smartphones. Our smartphones in today's day and age film leaps and bounds above better than video cameras that five years ago, six years ago, very expensive stuff. So just remember, you don't have to go out and buy something very expensive just to start filming quality video. Your cell phone is a great overall tool. Next, we can get into what I recommend personally and what really got me started filming YouTube videos, which is an action camera, a GoPro. Specifically, I started using a GoPro on a chest mount and filming literally my entire fishing trip all day. So all I would do was go out, like I normally do, strap this guy to my chest and start filming. Real easy, I could do exactly everything I wanted and it would just film my point of view. And it was a great way to just show, you know, everything that I did throughout the day. Action cameras are great because of their small size and their ability to capture a very wide angle. The wide angle lens allows you to see everything that's going on. Now, GoPro is the name that everyone knows. However, action cameras have become ubiquitous. Like, they're literally everywhere. You search on Amazon for an action camera, you can find a 4K action camera for literally around $60, I believe. I'll pull up a I'll pull up a screenshot of something I find on Amazon, but they're everywhere. So they're honestly so cheap nowadays. So the best way that I found to film my fishing videos personally was to buy an extended battery for my GoPro that could film around four or five hours at a time. That way I could literally click it on and just have film going all day. Buy two batteries, eight hours of film. Bring one extra SD card, which is a little, your memory card that records everything. And you literally have eight hours of video. So you're able to cover every single thing that you do throughout the day. Something that I recently got was the GoPro Hero 6. This thing is awesome. It is the, uh, it's the newest GoPro, the top of the line one. More expensive than a lot of other action cameras, but it gives me the ability to kind of future proof my uh, YouTube channel. This camera films up to 4, 4K resolution, which is giant, giant files. It's, for those of you that don't know, it's going to be really the the highest quality image that you're going to get and up to 60 frames per second. So it's ability to, if you want to slow down your shot and show slow-mo, it has enough, it's filming it fast enough that you could be able to slow it down and get every single moment that happens throughout the video. It's going to last me a very long time. These cameras themselves are waterproof, so you don't need the clunky case like my old model here. It has this clunky case to make it waterproof. However, the only thing that I, uh, really ran into that I struggled with with this uh, with the GoPro Hero 6 is it the only way to get an external mic so I can narrate what's going on is to buy GoPro's really expensive clunky adapter so essentially I'm gonna be using the internal mic on this guy which doesn't give great audio when there's wind or outside noise so I may have be switching back and forth between the cameras oh. Oh. Hope they got instructions for us slow people. Oh, you got pretty cool stickers. Just so they know I'm sponsored. So they give you for 400 freaking dollars. They give you one sticky mount, so you literally can stick this somewhere. If I wanted to stick it to my desk and just always have my GoPro, it'd be good to go. You just peel that guy and then you can clip the GoPro in. They give you, ooh, two sticky mounts. They give you a charging cable. And they give you one stinking battery. Just one. This, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I plan to rig up my new system. Cool part about this is all of the old accessories that I used with my Hero 3, I can still use with my Hero 6. Nice. That off.
and that's how you put on a training bra. No, I'm just kidding. So this is pretty much like what the setup's gonna look like. I, the GoPro, that wide angle is gonna film my point of view, so everything that I'm doing, a lot of times it's gonna be catching the rod and reel in my hands, but it's gonna show the fish just what I'm seeing, and it's really not in the way. Like, this one's pretty dang light. It's gonna capture my voice because it's right up in my business, and it's also gonna capture everything that I'm, everything that I'm seeing. Something else that I got here, is going to be some extra batteries for that GoPro. Another thing with the 6 is it does film great video, but the external battery that you use on it makes it not waterproof if you want to use like an extended battery, so something that could film for a long period of time. So I got a bunch of extra batteries. I can film for about an hour and a half with changing, but that's really another disadvantage to this new one. And I may seem like I'm talking it down, but there's still a reason that I bought this guy. It's for the much higher quality footage that it films versus the old model. Something else good I got here is this clamp and this extendable arm. So this guy is gonna allow me to use, oh my god, my computer's going crazy over there. I'm gonna need that later. Clip it to interesting places like my desk right here. I'm gonna use my old GoPro on this guy. You can clip it and get a cool overall view or a different angle really. So I'll probably have the six on my chest and I'll put the three somewhere, position it so I can get a completely different angle. On my rig, I'm gonna be rocking the Hero 3 on this guy. It'll be able to clamp really anywhere. It's literally just take it, let's say I'm on the boat and I see a rod holder, boom, attach it to that. Boom, take it, twist it. I can get whatever angle I want. Thing I got is a SD card. Like I was saying earlier, you're gonna need multiple SD cards. You probably don't skimp out on your SD cards just because they are where all of your footage is going. SanDisk is a good name brand. Um, I get a 64 gigs because it can hold a decent amount of footage and it's not overly priced like a 128 gig you spend a lot of money on. So. SanDisk, great. I, uh, I keep two or three of these with me at all times when I'm filming, just so you can have all of your all of your footage from a long trip. So now you've got your action camera, you've got your phone, you've filmed your day out on the water, you filmed your day out hunting, hiking, whatever it is that you like to do, and you have all this footage, but you have no clue what to do with it. Well, honestly, there are a million and one great video editors out there. So you don't have to spend a lot of money, you don't get to get fooled into thinking, oh I have to buy this $300 editing software. Softwares that are available today are leaps and bounds better than they were 10 years ago. Like the, the paid versions, the free versions today are 10 times better than the paid versions were a couple years ago. Software such as HitFilm Express is what I use. I use a free version. You can use something like DaVinci Resolve. You can literally just search free editing software on YouTube. There's much smarter people than me that have done reviews on the best free editing software. You probably have iMovie on your Mac. iMovie is great. Windows Movie Maker already downloaded. And you also can download free apps on your phone if that's where your filming was. It's very simple to use. There are very easy how-tos. and just, All you're doing is dragging and dropping clips cropping them slightly and putting them together. Very simple and don't don't be scared by the technology. You you use your smartphone every day. If you're smart enough to use your smartphone, you're smart enough to edit a video. Now once you've done all of that, you've edited your video, you go ahead and export it. And now you have a video. You have your own homemade video that explains your adventure, whether you added music, whether you added a voiceover narration. There are so many different things that you can do to share your story and share it with your friends and family, share it with YouTube, share it with the world. It's really awesome that the technology that we have today can show everyone what you do. So if you guys enjoyed this type of content, go ahead and do a little bit more research. Do Go ahead and you know search video editing software, search action cameras, search how to more how-tos on how to film, how to get better shots. All I want to pass along to you guys is it's really not that hard to show your story and explain it or to share it with the rest of the world around you, share it with your inner circle. You don't have to be a professional filmmaker to make entertaining films explaining everything that you've done. So I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to see some examples of my fishing videos, go ahead and look at in the description. If you want to see the gear that I went over today, I have it all listed in the description. Go ahead and take a look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys 
in that next video. Later.